Page is brought to you by Fergasso Financial Advisors. We guide for life. This is the Sunday Business Page with John Delano. Good morning, I'm John Delano. Welcome to another special segment of the Sunday Business Page. As President Trump pointed out during his recent visit to the Shell Cracker plant, natural gas is a key natural resource in this region. So what is the state of the industry today? Our special guest this morning is attorney Joe Reinhardt with the Pittsburgh-based law firm Babs Callen. Every year, Joe and his colleagues produce this report, and we welcome Joe back for the latest. Joe, let me ask you, this is the report. It's quite uh, <laughs> exhaustive as always. What is new about the state of our natural gas business here in southwestern Pennsylvania? Well, the, <clears throat> the big news, of course, is that production continues to, to rise. Uh, uh, our region produces about 40 percent of what has now become 90 billion cubic feet a day of natural gas that the country develops. 40 percent of America's natural gas comes right here from this region? That's right. That's right. And so it's created all kinds of opportunities. You mentioned uh, uh, President Trump. It also generates natural gas liquids, which are critical for the cracker. You know, I think a lot of people were concerned when in years past it seemed as if the drilling rigs had stopped and we weren't producing the natural gas. Is the market back for natural gas? Well, it's complicated, as you might imagine in this area, John. The, the rig count is still pretty much what it was a year ago, up from two years ago. But more recently, it's declined a bit because, uh, frankly, one of the things that's the problem for the industry is that their own uh, worst enemy sometimes, because by generating so much gas, it causes the price to go down. So they're having to compete with themselves to a certain extent and being more efficient. Is it true that some of the natural gas in this region is really exported overseas? Well, certainly uh, that is something that is a, a big market for the companies because the prices they can get overseas are three, four times what they could get locally. Um, but, of course, all the things going on now with regard to trade restrictions is a concern to them, certainly. So the natural gas price here in the Pittsburgh area, it seems to me that it's, it, we really haven't had a spike in price. Uh, no, no. As a matter of fact, the uh, the prices uh, about a year ago were about two two a little under three dollars per MMBTU. Right now, they're about two point two uh, per uh, uh, MMBTU. So they're they're declining a bit. But the it's amazing how the industry has become more efficient, in being able to make money. As you know, there are those who argue that we should get off fossil fuels. That there should be no more fossil fuel development. Uh, that would, of course, mean an end. I assume to natural gas. What is the argument that natural gas is a different kind of fossil fuel than, say, coal? Well, I think if you look at the numbers with regard to greenhouse gas emissions going back to 1990, you've actually had a pretty significant decrease uh, with regard to those emissions because of the fact that natural gas does have lower emissions and is, is more environmentally friendly than a lot of other forms of energy. And so that has been a welcome development for the area. So natural gas is among the cleaner of the fossil fuels? That's correct. Well, again, we appreciate, Joe, you coming in and sharing information with us. We have you back every year, and we'll have you again. Thank you, you so much for staying on top of this. And thank you for joining us on this edition of the Sunday Business Page. Please do write to me if you have a suggestion for a guest, or drop me an email at kdka.com. I'm John Delano. Have a great Sunday, everyone.